On February 16th, the Professor Kaganowski pulled into Vancouver for what amounted to a Daytona 500 pit stop in the shipping world. The ship and crew were in port just long enough to onboard scientists from Canada, Korea, Japan, Russia, and the USA, refuel, and head back out to sea. Their mission was to determine which salmon survive in the open sea. The theory is those fish that grow the biggest and the fastest within the foreshore are the fish that survive. What happens in the open ocean? The cyclones go and the all waves mix all water layer every moment. So how stable is the food supply for them? Nobody knows. Task number one, set up the ship and gain sea legs. Uh, the first two days were very, were really good. They were actually nice. We're able to get all our gear set up and do our test tests in Canadian waters. The catches were small, which provided an opportunity to test protocols and make adjustments that present themselves when you bring science out of the lab and onto the seas. One of the things that will be particularly fascinating is the Chinook salmon. What proportion of the Chinook that we're catching are coming from the areas that I'm interested in? Because there's Chinook populations, you know, up and down the coast. And are we seeing a lot of them or are we hardly seeing any of them? Uh, What's, what's the mixture? I think that's going to be really fascinating. It's a team of 21 from five countries that work differently in different languages on board a Russian ship, which is home to Russian scientists. Right. We're going to know each other really, really well at the end of this. Scientists who are extremely welcoming. Scientists who are eager to work together to compare techniques, processes, and results. They're making us all feel really at home out here. And... Um, uh, the rest of the science team is slow, slowly getting their sea legs. We've had a few people with sea sickness. Overall, everybody's eating perfectly well. And um, we're just excited to get to work. And then there is life at sea on a Russian research trawler circa 1980. The crew is hardy. The food is basic. Soups, borscht, pickled herring pie, and bread. And the accommodations? Well, rustic. Within hours of filing this report, the team is preparing for a day of fishing at the first official set point on a voyage of discovery that seeks to determine where our salmon go and what factors determine their survival during the first winter at sea.